Good luck getting your hair for the money. Come by my place when you're done. Okay. I'll see you later. In the market for something special, I have just the thing. You're in luck. These are on sale today. Anything else I can do for you, sir? Pardon me, sir. Who's there? It's me, Vito.
So, you need serious hardware or just a pistol? Like my mom always said, you can never have too much ammo. Like my mom always said, you can never have too much ammo. Like my mom always said, you can never have too much ammo. Like my mom always said, you can never have too much ammo. Like my mom always said, you can never have too much ammo. Don't go getting yourself killed now. Pursuit of a speeding vehicle. Copy that. Pursuit of a speeding vehicle. Copy that. Hey, thanks for coming by. I knew I could count on you. What for? <clears throat> Frank's organizing a sit-down with the other bosses, and he took almost all my guys as bodyguards. So I don't have nobody around to handle this here job for me. Derek, these guys still don't want to work. What? Why? Because of that dead bitch you fired. Hey. Shit. Well, Vito, that other thing will have to wait. Can you help us out here with this first? What's happening? Well, this deadbeat didn't come to work for a whole week. Pretended he was sick. Total bullshit. So I fired his ass. Anyway, some of his buddies are upset, and they're threatening to strike. All I gotta do is show up with a few guys who look like they mean business. That'll scare them, and they'll forget all about it. I give you a thousand bucks. Are you in? All right. I ain't gonna say no to that kind of money. All right. All you need to do is stand behind me and look tough. Right, Steve? We'll see. These fucking guys really think who the fuck they are. This ain't the first time I have problems with them, you know. I know how many of them there is? Three, four, ten. How the fuck should I know? Does it matter? Oh, no, it's just, uh, what are we gonna do to them? All depends on how the, uh, labor negotiations go. 
just let me do all the talking. I don't need just opening your mouths and proving how stunned you are. So, what's the problem here, fellas? We want you to give Big John his job back. It's me that decides who gets hired and fired around here. And I say he's fired. All we're asking is for you to hire him back. He's got a family. He needs a job. I've made my decision. See, I told you. Easy does it, Vinny. We want to do this Easy. peacefully. We bust our asses day in and day out for this fat fuck. And if anything ever happens to us, he'll screw us over Lower just like your he voice did, John. now, young man. I don't want to hear another word about that fucking deadbeat. Who are you calling a deadbeat? A crate fell on the poor guy while he was working. For you. Broke both his damn hands. Well, that's his fucking problem, not mine. And I suggest you just get back to work before somebody else's hands get you broke. You goddamn bastard! You fellas are really starting to piss me off. There's no need for violence. Please, put it down. We don't want no trouble. It don't look that way to me. Right now, looks like you got big trouble, don't you? Now, if you all don't want to start looking for new jobs, you'll be back to work in the next ten minutes. You see, Vito, all they do is bitch and moan. Vito? You're Skeletus boy, ain't ya? Ah, your dad used to talk about you all the time. You look just like him. But what are you doing working for this bastard? After what he did to your old Shut man? Shut your fucking mouth right now. Don't listen to him, Vito. He's full of shit. Come on, let's go. Full of shit, huh? That bastard killed your father, Vito. What? They're just trying to get under your skin, Derek. Hey, stop pointing that gun Why at don't me. Don't you ask him how your dad drowned Trap. that night? We seen him take a walk with Steve. And then Steve come back alone. And all wet. Stop pointing that thing at me. What the hell happened with my father, Derek? Are you nuts or what? Who are you gonna trust, me or these now unemployed losers? We known each other for a long time, Vito. Think of all Why the things. Were you thing... all wet, Steve? You dive in and try to save him because he wouldn't stay underwater. Keep your mouth shut. Vito, you swore an oath. I was there. Our loyalty to the family is greater than to our own families. Tell that to my mother. <sighs> Should I kill him? No, not here. We'll settle things with him later. You disappoint me, Vito. You really do. I'm gonna do a hell of a lot more than disappoint you, Derek. Your dad. Not right now. I gotta get that fuck before he runs away. Time to teach that fat fuck a lesson. Vinny, where'd you get that? Doesn't matter. Okay, the odds are even. Now let's teach that fat fuck a lesson. All right. Follow me, guys. Shouldn't be doing this. Vito can handle himself. Let's go, Vito. We got your back.
Okay, the odds are even. Now let's teach that fat fuck a lesson. All right, follow me, guys. This is crazy. So make sure we shouldn't be doing go, this. Vito. We don't can handle back. himself. Okay, the odds are even. Now let's teach that fat fuck a lesson. All right, follow me, guys. This is crazy. We shouldn't be doing this. Vito can handle himself. Let's go, Vito. We got your back. This out, Vito. Like father, like son, I beat up. trying not to make the same mistakes my old man did. Then I find out I'm following in his footsteps. It was good to finally know the truth, though. And Derek's death also helped me resolve another problem. like I just found Derek's retirement funds. Hey, Vito. We don't get things from here. What about the cops? Yeah, they might be a problem. But anyway, the saw is still in the self-defense. You were never here.
dispatch. We are in pursuit of a suspect. Copy that. Suspect is about six feet tall, average size. Roger that. Officer down! Officer down! Shoot this asshole! Get out. Is there I'd take that gun outside if I were you. <laughs> no, please! <Get> Stay <laughs> away! Oh, no, don't hurt do me! Don't hurt me! You. Please don't shoot!
Got you, asshole. Joe wasn't home. At first I thought he was just running a little late, so I went to grab something to eat. Two hours later, Joe still wasn't home. It was getting dark, and I was getting worried. I had to go look for him. Maybe Joe checked in with Eddie at the Falcon. Vito, good, you're here. You, uh, you hear what happened? Wow, what's going on? Henry's dead. What? The fucking chinks hacked him to death in broad daylight. Wh why So you don't know anything about it. Well, uh, Henry wanted to bring me in on some deal, but I passed. What happened? Yeah, well, Henry is, well, was stupid. He was dealing dope with the tongs. He knew this was off limits and he got caught. Carlo let him off with a small fine and told him he'd forget about it. But the chinks double-crossed Henry and hacked him to pieces in the middle of the park. Shit. Ain't no doing business with the yellow man. But there's worse. Henry wasn't working alone. Yesterday, some guys massacred a shitload of the chinks over in Chinatown. Now they figure it must have either been us or Vinci. They already started threatening Vinci. If this don't get settled fast, we're all in deep shit. You sure you don't know nothing about it? Not a thing, Eddie, I swear. Yeah? How about Joe? Joe? Joe was with me last couple days. Well, you're lucky then. Carlo's out of town right now, but when he gets back, it ain't gonna be pretty. No shit. You better not be shitting me, Vito. Let's try Giuseppe next. He keeps his ear to the ground.
Hey, Giuseppe, I'm looking for Joe Barbro. Was he here today? Hello, Vito. Yeah, Joe came by today. Great, I've been looking for him the whole day. Did he say where he was heading? Well, no, he didn't. I don't think he know himself. How come? Well, he was looking for a job, but before we managed to finish our conversation, a few guys came and took him away. What? Who? It was Vinci's people. They said Mr. Vinci wanted a word with him. You know where they would have went? No, lo so. Maybe to the bar, the Mona Lisa. Shit. Is there something wrong? Not sure. Let's just say we're not on the best of terms with Mr. Vinci these days. Yeah, Joe didn't look too happy. I got a bad feeling about this. I better go find out what's going on. I hope it's nothing serious. Buona fortuna, Vito. Ciao, ragazzi. Freeze, and maybe I won't kill you. Hiya, fellas. Look at the balls on this guy. Nice to see you, too. Don't move a muscle. Come on. Listen to the friendly bartender and stop fucking around, Vito. Now, first of all, I gotta ask you to slowly toss your guns on the floor. No funny business, neither. The bartender's got the itchiest trigger finger in town, huh? I'm not armed. Okay, so what are you doing here, Vito? We wasn't expecting you. I'm looking for Joe Barbaro. I heard some of your guys picked him up. Eh, yeah, maybe. What are you trying to pull? Me and Joe didn't do nothing to you. Mr. Vinci doesn't seem to think so. He wanted a few things explained to him. So that's what Joe is doing. And since you've stopped by, why don't we go and join them? And what if I don't want to? These guns say you do. But don't worry. It's got a hell of a view. Ah. Uh. Hey, what's up, Joe? The assholes went to take a leak. <sighs> Great. Well, can you explain to me why the fuck we're here? 
That old fuck Vinci can't see what's going on right in front of his face. And he thinks I can explain it to him. Idiot. Oh, the happy couple is here already. Welcome, Vito. What's going on? You got no reason to treat us like this. No reason? No reason? First, the business with Leo. And then all hell breaks out in the city. The chinks, they're going nuts. Everybody's fighting like lunatics. And now, those yellow bastards are threatening to kill me. It's out of fucking control. Now, I'm too old for this shit, so you're gonna tell me what the hell's going on here. Come on, I'm all ears. Mr. Vinci, look, I don't know what the hell's going on here. Believe me, me and Joe ain't got nothing to do with it. That ain't what I wanna hear. Yeah, well, that's your problem, because we don't know shit about any of this. That's too bad. Finally, we don't got much time. We gotta do something. All right, we'll try to break the pipe. Come on, help me out. I can't do it by myself. Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three. Again. One, two, three. Go first. I'll cover you. Where the fuck is you going?
Vito. They fucked me up pretty good. I think I need a doctor. Okay. Let's get you over to El Greco. Hey, come on. I need to borrow this. Don't hurt me! Chest. Every time I breathe, I think they broke my damn ribs. Take it easy. El Greco's gonna fix you up. Yeah. <coughs> sure. <coughs> oh, fuck. Every time I cough, it feels like I'm being stabbed in the chest. Just sit back. The more you whine about it, the worse it's gonna be. So listen, Vito. Uh, thanks for coming after me. That almost getting yourself killed. Hey, we're in this together, right? Just like always. Now just sit the fuck back before you get blood all over my pants and I really do stand in the chest. <coughs> oh, you picked a hell of a time to turn into a fucking comedian. I can make it. What do you want me to do with the money? Take it to Bruno. All right. At least that'll be out of the way. Uh. Good evening, gentlemen. Oh, what happened to you? Hey, Doc. I got my ass kicked. At... <coughs> I'm coughing up what blood. What is happening today? One of uh. your guys is already here. Uh. Who? His name is Antonio Balsamo. Tony Balls? What happened to him? Somebody messed him up pretty good. Uh, I don't think uh, he's ever going to uh, walk again. What? <laughs> this surprises you? All the blood, uh, all the death. Uh, this is the lifestyle you choose. Uh, uh, One day your luck is bound to run out. Uh, the next time, it could be uh, you. And off with the sermon, Doc. You have time to treat Joe? Yes. But you'll have to wait a minute while I fix Antonio up. That's okay, Doc. All right. Come in. Make sure you settle things with Bruno, okay? And Vito. Thanks. Sure thing. Feel better. on EDLT Delta Radio. It's your old disc jockey slash news commentator slamming Sammy Stevens bringing you news from Midtown. Construction site carnage. Well, that's what the papers might call it tomorrow. Witnesses have reported the sound of automatic weapons coming from the building and at least one body falling from a high-rise scaffold to the sidewalk below. Police arrived as a car was leaving the site and they are still in pursuit of that vehicle. It's safe to say that if you see some flashing lights coming from behind you, pull over and duck, baby. For EDLT Radio, I'm slamming Sammy Stevens.
Suspect is about six feet tall, dark hair, medium build. Roger that. I need to see Bruno. Got the money? Yeah. Come on in then. You're lucky. We were just about to leave. Good evening. You have the money for me? Or do you wish to extend the deadline? Here it is. <laughs> I have to admit, this is somewhat of a surprise. I heard you boys had some complications. Yeah, we did. I heard that Henry is dead. I'm very sorry to hear that. Isaac, count it. So your little business venture was a success? You got your money, right? Right, right. It's just that the whole city has been turned upside down. The Chinese think the Italians attacked them, so they're going after Vinci. That's not good. Not good. Would that have anything to do with the reason you borrowed this money? Sorry, Bruno. That's none of your business. Ah, uh, thank you, Isaac. It looks like the debt is settled. I don't even know your name. Vito. Vito who? Vito Scaletta. Eh, Scaletta. I knew a Scaletta once. But I must say, you're much better at paying back your debts than he was. His poor wife had to do it for him. So it was you who lent my father the money. <laughs> Your father? Ah, like father, like son. I see you don't approve. But I didn't make him borrow the money, now did I? Just like I didn't make you. If you ever need a loan, you know where to find me. <laughs> sure. I couldn't sleep. Things were bad, and they were only gonna get worse. The truth was gonna come out sooner or later, and then we were gonna have Falcone after us along with the Chinese and Vinci. This wasn't how I imagined it when we were starting out. I dreamed of money, cars, women, respect, freedom. I guess I ended up getting all that, more or less. But along with it came prison, living in constant fear and the blood of my friends. I ducked it as long as I could, but it was finally catching up with me. It was all just a matter of time. <laughs> 